Praise God. It is Sunday, January the 8th, day 7. Our 21 days of prayer and fasting now we're, we're entering. To, after today will be a full week with two to go. But praise God, we're about a third of the way almost. The scripture for the day is Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. And I want to encourage you to look that up as I do every day. And I want you to look it up because you need to, to be disciplined in reading God's word for yourself and not just have it read to you all the time by somebody else. It's a good discipline to have. If you're ever going to grow, you're going to have to, to get in God's word yourself. Um, the thought for the day is, I am hungry for the word of God. Are you hungry for the word of God today? If you're not, pray and ask God to help you be hungry for the word of God. Now, we're not just fasting, we're praying. And fasting is denying the flesh, food, and pleasure for a season to seek God. And uh, it ends up with an empty plate. And that's, it's not always exciting, that empty plate thing. But what is exciting is what you're going to get out of the Word of God. And I want to encourage you, during that time, when your plate is empty and you would normally be eating, take that time and seek God and pray. And, and get a hold of Him and find Him and get answers for your life. Get in His Word and feed upon His Word and let it fill you. Because that, that is how you grow, is in God's Word and in His presence. You know, the Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 6, part of the Beatitudes, Jesus said, Blessed are those which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Now, when you're praying and fasting, that's what you're really doing. You want to be more righteous. You're hungry and you're thirsty for more righteousness from God through Jesus Christ. And God says when you hunger and thirst for righteousness, when you really want to be right, righteousness is being right with God. That's really what it is, being right. And we're right with God through what Jesus Christ did on the cross and in our life. But we get that as we surrender our lives to live for Jesus. Because it's not just about what Jesus can give us, but we have to give back to him our life and live it for him right here while we're on the earth. And that's why so many people struggle and that's why so many people struggle with salvation and, and the message of Jesus Christ is because salvation is free. Eternal life is free, but it costs you. It costs you doing whatever you want, anytime you want, living whatever life you want, because really you have to die to self and start living a life for God right here on earth and start hungering and thirsting for righteousness to be right with God while you're here on the earth. And friends, today I want to encourage you Keep praying, keep fasting, be hungry for God's word, be hungry to be right with God, and you will find it. God says when you seek him, you will find him. So God bless you today.